Cuppers FM are 20. A Tuesday morning, we're joined by the Waimakariri Police and the former Senior Constable uh, Tony Moore. Good morning to you, Tony. Good morning, John. And also today, we have an extra guest uh, with Tony, and it's Sarah Saunders. Sarah is the manager for North Canterbury Neighbourhood Support. What is that about? We'll find out shortly with uh, Sarah. But first up, uh, Tony, from a policing point of view, the last week in the Waimakariri mm. area. Yeah, we're just looking through the occurrences, John. It's um, pretty clear to see that uh, the, uh, the offenders, the offenders that are out and about are um, are being uh, lured by um, visible targets. Um, so mainly we think we're probably thinking more opportunist crime. So for instance, the um, uh, there were four vehicles that were entered with property stolen. Now all of those vehicles um, had valuables visible. Uh, two of them were unlocked and uh, two of them were locked. So um, it's obvious that uh, the offenders are looking in the car first to see what's in there. So the message there to people is uh, is remove. Um, the valuables if, if you can and don't leave um, you know things in your, in your vehicles overnight and try to you know park them in a secure place if you can't then you know make it obvious that there's nothing in there and generally that will probably uh, deter an offender um, we had uh, three um, burglaries of premises um, over the uh, last week as well and uh, interestingly enough um, all three houses were insecure so they probably wouldn't have happened if the um, houses were locked um, a couple you know you can understand that people have made honest mistakes Stakes. So just before you retire for the night, perhaps go out and check that your vehicles are locked and, you, and that, um, you know, the garage door is shut, etc. Because sometimes, you know, we've got busy lives. Sometimes it's easy to forget those things. Um, we've also had several um, burglaries of honesty boxes and coin meters in the camping grounds and golf clubs in the in the wider um, North Canterbury area. So we're just um, asking those um, managers to uh, make sure that there's not uh, too much money left in those machines. Upgrade your security, make sure you've got, um, you know, um, some form of security. We are following a really good line of inquiry and we hope to have a result uh, for that one very, very soon. And just uh, finishing up, a couple of vehicles, uh, the Hiluxes and Land Cruisers seem to be a target at the moment. They so have been for a while, too. They have, yep. Mm. So um, mainly for parts. So um, once again, just make sure your security is, is up to scratch. And... Um, Community patrols are having a, a number plate um, safety screw or tamper-proof screw um, event on Sunday the 18th of April at the Rangira High School gym car park, and that's from 10.30 to 2pm, and they'll be putting tamper-proof screws on cars for a small donation, so uh, people are welcome to come down there and uh, and get their uh, number plates secured. And just to finish off, on the 13th of May, um, Community Patrols New Zealand and Neighbourhood Support and myself will be at the Rangira Borough School Hall at uh, 7.30pm just doing a talk about uh, um, the organisations and I'll do my uh, crime prevention talk Alright, when's mm. that Tony? That's coming so up So that's on the 13th of May at 7.30pm. Uh, Alright, speaking of uh, neighbourhood support, you just mentioned that, I must admit I get slightly confused there's community patrol, neighbourhood watch neighbourhood support, but uh, it's uh, Sarah Saunders who's manager of North Canterbury Neighbourhood Support A very good morning Sarah. Good morning John Lovely to have you here at Compass FM What is neighbourhood support? Right, that's a really good question. So our vision, John, is our communities are safe and resilient and our mission is to work with communities and organisations to develop and support safe and resilient neighbourhoods. Okay, so it's well established here in North Canterbury, but I believe, you know, you're really trying to to get the profile out there a little more, yeah? That's right, yeah. It's been around for a, a wee while, but we're really going to um, relaunch and um, try and get further engagement um, because it's, it's a fantastic model. So uh, could you give me an example? Example, perhaps, of you know just exactly what neighbourhood support does or is about. Absolutely, we all like to feel um, safe and engaged in our own communities, and um, so this is about um, going back to grassroots and neighbours getting to know each other over the fence. But also, what else can they do for each other? So we help to facilitate this. If you'd like to get involved, head along to our website. Um, also, we we are looking for street leaders, so people that don't mind putting their hand up and um, just organising a few things in around this space. But we provide lots of support, um, a, a gift basket to kick off or it might be a barbecue um, and it's fantastic, it really is worthwhile getting to know your neighbours. Now are you separate to the police? Yes we are, separate to the police, um, however we work alongside and are uh, um, 
are funded partially by police. Um, another thing that's worth uh, noting is that when you do sign up to us, you get um, clear and credible information of updates from police, civil defence, um, etc. So it's it's another avenue of, um, you know, there's a lot of information on Facebook. What's true and what's not? Well, well our, our Facebook page and our website has credible factual information. Well, I mean, neighbourhood crime is, you know, unfortunately rampant throughout the country. So just how effective is neighbourhood support in uh, combating that? Yeah, good question. I think neighbourhood support, um, you know, years ago, um, we, we used to be better at this. And so we've, we've recognised that whilst there's technology, and that's fantastic, um, we need to really understand and get to know our neighbours when they're away, you know, and what needs they might have in a, in a natural disaster even. So um, sometimes this is difficult for people to find out by themselves. And we have a really great database. Um, it's called the Gets Ready. And um, it's all confidential information goes in. But we can they can clearly see um, in times of crisis also that um, the support's going to be there. And it's throughout the North Canterbury region. So it could be small towns. So it could be Harden, could be Calverton, uh, not just Rangi or Kaiapoi, Oxford. Absolutely. Yeah, we want to replicate this um, right throughout uh, Waimakariri, Hiranui and Kaikoura. So um, we cover all those areas and each area is different. Obviously, rural rural areas have their own um, niche way of, of looking at things and, and we like to foster that, yeah. Yep. So anyone listening now who, uh, you know, is in a street that doesn't at this stage or is not involved in neighbourhood support, you're looking for street leaders and they should get in touch with you and then you can coordinate things and, and help them on their way, yeah? Correct. And even if you don't want to be a street leader but you actually think, oh, I'd like to sign up and, and um, you know, just be a part of a group that's fantastic also so um and, and we can easily align these people sounds fantastic sarah thanks so much for popping in and good to see you again uh, tony as always um so just that website again just go to what um so it's north canterbury neighborhood support simple as that lovely mm-hmm. thanks very much sarah and tony compass fm, FM.